Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Daniel Rosell. This YouTube channel focuses on developments related to Jerusalem and Israel. One of my favorite ways of wasting time procrastinating on the internet is trawling through Google Maps to find really weird remote places on planet Earth. I keep a list of these somewhere on my computer and visiting all of them is a life aspiration. Places like Svalbard, the Diomed Islands and the Andaman Islands. This is why I was a mixture of happy and disappointed this week when I read about the latest country with which Israel has forged diplomatic relations. It's a tiny island called Nui which I hadn't looked into closely before. Like the video posted by the New Zealand Travel Guide YouTube channel, I have to make the disclaimer that I'm only pronouncing the name to the best of my ability. I think it's pronounced Nui and I think its inhabitants would be Nusians. But this interesting diplomatic development was reported in the news here a few days ago. Nui is a tiny island in the South Pacific and its entire population is less than 2,000 inhabitants. Because it would make no sense to set up an embassy or consulate in a tiny island of this size, Israel is going to formally maintain diplomatic relations with the island through its existing embassy in Wellington, New Zealand. There are however actually two embassies on the island, specifically the High Commissions of both Australia and New Zealand which are located in Alofi. Israel is now one of only nine countries, alongside China, France, India and others, who have officially accredited their Wellington embassies as having non-resident embassy status to the island. Nui is part of the realm of New Zealand but it is a separate country. To mark the occasion of the start of diplomatic relations, Israel's ambassador to New Zealand, Ran Jacobi, visited the island. He was met there by Nui's president, Dalton Tagalagi. Nui is a self-governing territory in free association with New Zealand. This means that while it has its own government and handles many aspects of its internal affairs, it also maintains a very close relationship with New Zealand, particularly in areas like defence and foreign policy. The only available flight from anywhere to the island is operated twice weekly out of Auckland by a New Zealand. Nui is a popular destination for ecotourism and adventure tourism. Visitors are drawn to its unspoiled natural beauty, its coral reefs and opportunities for activities like snorkeling, diving and whale watching. Alongside English, a language called Nuiian is spoken which belongs to the Polynesian linguistic group. As the island is particularly vulnerable to the effects of rising sea levels and climate change, it has emerged as one of the best case studies for countries which have formalized its marine territory. With the establishment of the Nui Oceanwide Trust, Nui is one of the first countries in the world to commit to sustainably managing all of the waters in its exclusive economic zone or EEZ. With the addition of Nui to the list, Israel now enjoys formal diplomatic relations with more than 160 countries around the world. However, 28 UN member states have either never established relations with Israel or broken off those which were previously in existence. This list includes Algeria, Libya, Somalia, Cuba, Afghanistan and Malaysia. Hope this video was interesting. If you want to get new videos from on the ground in Jerusalem, Israel and learn more about this interesting country, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel.